Hello guys, welcome back to Special Creations by Nelly. If you haven't subscribed, now is the time to do so. On this channel, I will be showing you how to make beautiful party decorations when the good part is that you don't have to spend a lot of money to make something beautiful. So with that said, let's not forget to hit the little bell button where you will get notified every time I post a new video. I will be posting every week. So please, let's not forget to hit the like button and let's comment down below letting you guys what you guys think. With that said, let's get started. So the first thing I did was grab a foam board from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to go ahead and line them up together and attach tape to it. Just like that. Then I'm, after that, you see those two in the middle, I'm just gonna go ahead and take the third one and in the middle, I'm gonna just cross a line to the from side to side. I'm gonna take this another foam board just to make a straight line. Just like that. And then just gonna go ahead and do the other side. And you're gonna continue doing this until you do four sizes. Then after that, you're gonna go ahead and grab your knife and cut these parts out. So you're gonna do one by one until you cut the whole thing. Then I'm gonna take with the extra um, pieces that I have left, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue and then I'm gonna attach it to the middle of the foam board. And this will give me support. And then you're gonna go ahead, take a piece of paper and you're gonna draw an hexagon. After you're done, just grab a pair of scissors and you're just gonna go ahead and cut it out and you're gonna make as many as you need for these. Then go ahead and take your shape cut out and just use double sided tape and attach it to your back wrap. And just place it as however you would like to them to look. Then I got these banners and I'm just gonna go ahead and put it in the middle. I will have these available on my shop and the B, so you can always just check it out. I will put the link in down below description. Then I'm gonna go ahead and grab my petal. I'm gonna use seven petals each um, And then I'm gonna put the size on the description box um, so you can check that out. Then I'm going to grab all of them together and I'm just going to go ahead and cut it at the end. Then I'm going to grab all of them again and just fold it just like that, halfway. Then go ahead, take your hot glue and you're going to attach them all together. You're going to do one by one until you do all of them. Um, these, you can find them in um, Google. You can look them up, the, the petal shape, so you can just print it out and cut it out. Then you're gonna go ahead and attach them all together. So you're just gonna go ahead and put some hot glue on the side and attach it. And then you're gonna continue doing this until you attach all seven petals together. Guys, you can also draw this one and then just cut it out. Then you're gonna take the end and attach it at the end, just like that. Then go ahead and take your other size and just attach it to the top and you're gonna put it in the middle of the of the gap. You see that little gap? You're gonna just place it in the middle. And then you're gonna go ahead and continue doing this and so you do the whole thing all around there. And look how cute it's turning out. It's pretty simple to do, guys. And then just go ahead and put some hot glue at the bottom and just put your circle on top. Then I went ahead and grabbed this um, paper, it's um, 8.5 by 11 and I just fold it in half and then I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it out. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take it and fold it again in half, just like that. And I'm just gonna go ahead and take my scissor and cut it through it almost all the way to the end. So I'm gonna do this twice. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take it and I'm just going to go ahead and fold it around. Then at the end, I'm just going to go ahead and attach it with glue. Then I'm going to take the other part and attach it to it to make it bigger. I'm just going to go ahead and fold it around and put some hot glue at the end. Then go ahead and take your flowers and attach it to the middle. 
Then I went ahead and grabbed my beads and I used double sided tape and I'm just gonna go ahead and attach it to the bowl. And I'm gonna attach my flower with hot glue. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take a Sharpie and I'm just gonna go ahead and make a um, little line going all the way down, just like that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take it and do it to the other side as well. Then I went ahead and used my hole punch and I'm just gonna punch a hole and make sure to do two hole punch and then put the ribbon through it to both sides of the board. Then I went ahead and I grabbed four yellow and four black balloons. And I'm just gonna go ahead and try to do it all the same size. So after that, I'm gonna put two um, balloons together and then I'm gonna attach the other two together as well. And then I'm gonna take both of them and just flip it around. And that's gonna be my base. Then I'm gonna continue doing this and to do four more black balloons. Then I'm going to do the same thing I did to the yellow balloons, attach them together and just twist it around. Then I'm going to go ahead and put it on top. I'm going to take a ribbon to hold it down and just put it through it just like that. For these bays, um, I will put the link down below where you can learn how to make it out of craft stick. So then I just go ahead and place it in the middle and I'm just going to go ahead and I hold it with the string I'm just gonna do the same thing I did before just go ahead and fill it, fill it up around then I went ahead and put some water balloon so it could hold it down better and I put some flour in the middle then I did the same thing I did to the other ones but I got these flower in Dollar Tree I'm just gonna go ahead and tie a ribbon at the bottom and then I'm just gonna flip it around and just twist it around and this is gonna give me my flower it looked just super cute then I'm gonna go ahead and attach another flower. And this is how beautiful everything turns out. If you would like to know where I got my cake stand and my backdrop and curtain and all that stuff, I will put the link down below. You can just go ahead and check that out. As well, if you would like to know where I got my beads and the bee banners, I will put it on my exit shop. You can just go ahead and check that out as well. And let me guys, let me tell you, these turn out super beautiful. So you should definitely give it a try. And thank you again for watching Special Creations by Nelly. And if you have any idea that you would like me to do anything, um, let me know. Comment down below so I could create something beautiful for you. And let's not forget, I'm always creating stuff for you guys. Thank you for watching.